Hi everyone, thank you for joining me for today's video. I'm a life coach and I help people recover and grow and heal from different kinds of trauma. Main kind of trauma that I help people heal from is emotional abuse, typically from people with personality disorders, narcissists, most typical. So this is an interesting subject that I, uh, that comes up a lot in the comment section of my videos and I see it in other people's videos too and other people that make videos talk about um, you know what are narcissists and uh, and it's not just pertaining to the devil right um, evil aliens um, I don't need to get into all of it but it lots of different things people claim narcissists are that it's everything but human right and I'm not going to argue that point either I'm not here to argue that point and I'm definitely not here to challenge anybody's religious beliefs I completely respect people's point of view and beliefs even religion because I choose to not be judgmental so the devil what is the devil besides a religious character it means the personification of evil. So I'm not here to uh, discuss or challenge or, or argue about the devil and if it exists, and like I said, anybody's religious beliefs. I really do respect your religious beliefs. Um, but let's look at evil. Profoundly immoral and malevolent, morally reprehensible, sinful, wicked, ungodly. These are some terms I've, I've found when looking up evil. But does not being God, godly, make us evil? That I'm going to say no. I don't believe you have to believe in God or have God in your life or be godly to not be immoral or to be moral. I believe that lacking empathy can make us evil or immoral. Lacking empathy is the key. Um... I came across an article. I like to bring up articles and, and stuff like this. And uh, I read Psychology Today quite often. I get a lot of information from that source. It's a good source, I believe. And I found a story, an article written by Paul J. Zak, Why Some People Are Evil. He states, human beings release good feeling hormones when we receive a positive social signal. However, he also states that he believes about 5% of our population does not do this. Psychopathic. Narcissists are higher in psychopathy, right? No, no labels here. It's just we're trying to understand about, he says, he thinks about 5% of the population does not receive positive or, 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 or feel good hormones when we have a positive social signal from people. And narcissists are higher in psychopathy, okay? We are good because of social morality. Some people lack receptors for these particular hormones that are released when we have positive social signals from people. Some people lack this, and that is lacking empathy, okay? And <clears throat> this looks like evil. This could be evil. Victims of childhood abuse can also have similar behaviors. He states, loners and in impermanent survival mode. And that's what a lot of us are, aren't we? That, that's kind of what CPTSD really is, isn't it? Um, childhood abuse, and I want to add childhood neglect. It is so overlooked and understated, the damages that childhood neglect causes. I've, I've talked about this quite often in my videos. Um, go look, go watch them if you're interested in that. Impaired social behaviors. This is what happens when we're neglected, guys. Abused, too. But literally, look at childhood neglect is lacking this kind of conversation with our parents. It was, it was very, it's very, very important, vital to our development, that we not just talk to our parents, but we, we talk about things that pertain to us for our own self-development. And if we're neglected from our, our parents, emotional neglect, which is very hard for people to identify. When we're neglected from our parents, we literally lack 
social skills. We can even become socially inept. So he says high stress inhibits release of feel-good hormones and makes us temporary psychopaths. We narrow focus on ourselves and cause being socially competent. We believe virtue and moral come from meeting others' needs. Isn't that us, right? The people pleaser, placing other people's needs before our own, raised that doing things for our parents and doing what they want and expected of us, regardless of how we feel, what we want, what we need, is good. And then we, we believe that's morale, virtuous, meeting other people's needs. So evolution, right? We are only still here because of society, period. Okay, and I, and I don't want to get in, a, in an argument about evolution and creation and stuff like this. Evolution is what is accepted in today's society scientifically. I'm going by that. We have no teeth. We have no fangs. We have no claws. We can't protect ourselves. We walk out in the middle of the Serengeti Desert naked by ourselves. We're done. Eventually, we're done. We can't make it. So how are we here after thousands and thousands of years? By, by society. Safety in numbers. That's why we're here. Not just because we're intelligent. Your intelligence isn't going to help you survive a pride of lions by yourself. Right? Without some kind of weaponry. Still probably won't survive it by yourself, possibly. We need people. Very, very important. That's why we are here. So all of our thousands of years of survival and evolution depends and relies on society. Matter of fact, psychopaths who don't care about people still care about being a member of society in some, in some regards. It's so ingrained in us that we don't want to be ostracized. We don't want to be exiled. Worst thing that could ever happen. That's imminent death for us. And you'll see a psychopath who murdered a, a, a string of people and they're in prison and they will... I've seen this a lot. I watch a lot of this gross stuff to learn. And and you'll see them literally tell the family or the police where the deceased people are, the lost ones that they murdered, where their bodies are. And it's not guilt. It's not shame. It's fear of being exiled. Literally. I, you can watch police officers interrogate these psychopathic murderers and the one thing that gets them every single time is you don't want to be a monster, do you? You don't want to go, we all know you did it, right? We got proof, here's the video, you admitted to it. But don't you want the family to be able to rest? If you don't tell us where the bodies are, you go down in history as a monster and we all reject you. And that will make psychopaths talk. I think that's interesting. The bottom line is this narcissist never value emotional connection with human beings. Always in survival mode. Always me, 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 me. Labeling people does not serve us. So I don't want to... Um, you know, we're all entitled to our opinion and we all react to trauma differently. Okay? And there's a stages of healing from this. And I totally understand I totally, totally understand why we do this, okay? But I want to say again that leaving people does not serve us. Accepting people benefits society, which benefits all of us. We fear what we fail to understand. That is extremely important. What we don't understand, and most of us coming out of these relationships just found out maybe that our ex has a personality disorder. We may have just heard that term for the first time ever. We may not understand what a narcissist is, right? And we monstercize them and catastrophize and we deal with depression this way, the loss of these people. And we, we, we think they're monsters, aliens, the devil, okay? It will not serve us with this attitude. It won't. 
It keeps us stuck where we are. What does help us heal is to understand. Okay, so we fear what we don't understand. And that's why we call them things besides humans. But when we understand, we heal and we no longer think that of them. Vital, vital, important step to healing. Okay, we do this with human qualities like compassion and empathy. And then we're allowed to do that for ourselves accept ourself and our mistakes. I hope that makes sense. Like I said, please, anybody who's religious, I hope I did, didn't make you feel like I'm challenging your beliefs. I wanted to come up with a, another explanation to help us understand so we can all heal and move on and live the rest of our lives, okay? Be happy, have our emotional needs met in healthy, loving, growing, functional relationships with other humans because that is the most important thing to all of us. I don't care who you are. We need it, period. We cannot survive alone. There are not people, I've said this many times, and I would love to hear anybody tell me they know somebody that's done it or you've done it. There's people that, there's no people living out in the woods or the forest or the desert all by themselves without any kind of contact with society at all. I don't care if it's the internet, talking to people on the phone or occasionally going into town. You can't do it. We cannot do it. And people have tried and they've all died. Okay? We need society and we need people. And we need to heal from our pain so we don't repeat it. What we don't understand about our mistakes is what also helps us repeat these mistakes. I've most often seen people who repeat this type of, have these experiences over and over again of being abused by narcissists are the very ones that believe narcissists are evil and, and, and monsters and aliens, okay? It's also the type of people that completely isolate away from society and withdraw. And you couldn't be, you couldn't do something or anything worse than that. Okay, uh, I'm going to make another video, Are Narcissists Necessary? I think I'll come out with that tomorrow. Um, I appreciate all of you watching. I would love to hear your feedback. I do not want to get into um, religious, philosophical arguments uh, with people down in the comments section. I just won't do it. I, I accept your religious beliefs 100% and I respect all of them. I do not judge Okay, and I, I just hope that you guys won't judge people either. It will not serve you. I understand it. But when you're ready, try a different approach, a different perspective, so that you can heal from monsters. Okay? Thank you guys. Love yourself first. Please give me feedback. Share this video if you can. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I'd love to uh, see you voting on my video and tell me what you think and why. Thanks, guys. Like I said, love yourself first, and I'll see you again later. Bye-bye.